Today, chefs of Antigua is visiting the Far East and sampling a blend of Asian cuisine. And guess what? We're not going out of St. John's Antigua to do it. We are visiting Tululu, which is a fairly new spot on the St. John's restaurant scene. It is a charming, fun eatery that is located on Marble Hill Road at the back of Extreme Gym. The restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The lunch menu is fairly international, but it's the dinner menu that has me really excited. It features a blend of Asian cuisine, including Thai and Indian. Let's meet the proprietor, Mark Martinez, and find out just what the chef is preparing for us. Hi, Mark. Hello, it's Joy. lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet I'm you delighted too. to be here. Thank you. I've heard so much about it but have never got down here, so this is my first time. Wow. Why don't you, you tell us a little bit about the restaurant? Yes, uh, Tululu Bar and Restaurant. It's a kind of concept that offering an Asian fusion. Um, I opened this uh, kind of concept because I believe we have great Mediterranean, Italian, and French cuisine in Antigua, but I think there's missing. As a tourism country, it's nice to have variety and more options and to elevate somehow also of, of choices among visitors and the people who lives here. Right. That includes me, of course. And so um, that's how I come out with Tululu Restaurant. Uh -huh. It's an Asian fusion at nighttime. It's a journey to Asia that people will try to taste a bit of the food from the forest, mainly from Thailand, from Indonesia, from Japan from Philippines, from China, and so on and so forth. Well, well, I'm excited just by that because I love Indian food and Thai food. So actually finding a place in Antigua that does both, Yes. I, I think I this think is going to be my <laughs> local favorite. <laughs> it's a one-time one -time shop for everybody. If you, 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 um, you crave for a Thai food, then yes, Tulu has love that. Thai if you food. crave for for a sort of a Vietnamese twist or Indian food, uh -huh. my chefs are very good in preparing different specials. So, where did the name Tululu come from? Tululu. Is, am I saying it correctly, Tululu? Yes, oh, uh, good. Tululu. Um, we tried to do a little bit of research, and yes, it's an Asian fusion restaurant, but we wanted to have a Caribbean flair or, or mm -hmm. twist. Tululu means in French Guyana, in Saint Lucia, in Dominica means those small crabs, uh -huh. and in French, uh, in Guadeloupe means the Queen of Carnival. Uh -huh. And because in the beginning we have the accommodation rental called Villa Tululu, right? And the place, and was, that was an English harbor, that was an English right? Harbor, and the place was. And is that still open? Now it's more on the accommodation side. Oh, I see. Okay. And then we decided to, to come do down here in Marble Hill. Right. Yes. Well, I'm very glad you did because this is more accessible for a lot of people. Correct. So um, now I'm very excited about what's in store for us. So, do you have any idea what the chef is going to prepare? Yes, uh, I spoke to him a few minutes ago and he's very happy to prepare a Japanese twist tuna and that is a uh, teriyaki tuna glaze in a mashed potato with uh, tomato and mango salsa. Oh, it's uh, it's a Japanese uh, infusion type of dish and that's uh, been offered during the night time. Mm -hmm. And then also he is creating a chicken pistachio salad with feta and arugula and, and, and fresh greens. Oh, sounds so wonderful. That's to give that now, great is that is that a are those two mains or is that an appetizer um, or does the, the customer feta, decide? The chicken pistachio feta salad will be introduced for our next uh, for this season menu. This is mm -hmm. something new, and this will be incorporated to our lunch okay. uh, selections. Right. And would you say that's a fusion of what type of food? Uh, the, the chicken pistachios are international uh -huh. salad uh, variation, mainly because our lunch concept are international cuisine. So the chef prepared Caribbean, international inspired food, a little bit of introductions to Asian food mm -hmm. at night. So people can decide, oh, let's try to go back in the evening or book our table in the nighttime so we can really try all the Asian food that they are mainly serving as the main concept. Sounds great. Yeah. Now you're also open for parties and... Yes, uh, being here it's a nice uh, atmosphere and it, it's, it's, it's a perfect gathering for 
I would say intimate gathering for um, 100, 150 yeah. people. Well, it's it's really charming. It, I, Thank I just you. love it. Um, and we're down. This is the Marble Hill area. Yes, uh, this is Marble Hill Road. Um, it's quite a bit of uh, an odd locations. People really have to find us. Right, we, but if uh, we're behind Extreme Gym, right? The main, the main, uh, I think, the location that we can always sell is behind the Extreme, extreme gym. gym. Yeah. And then, then you can find us. Yeah. <laughs> you can find our spot. Well, <laughs> I am delighted to be here. So let's go see what the chef's doing. Sure, certainly. So welcome to Tululu again, and I. This is our simple kitchen. Today we would like to show you a little quick demonstration of our one of our speciality. Uh, we make our own noodles, which we call Hakka egg noodles, and that's always fresh every day. So I have here my cook, Jujet, who's going to demonstrate in how to uh, prepare a fresh egg noodles, a vegetable egg noodles. Right, so um, Jujit is now preparing all different types of vegetables, and that's it. Needs it's important needs to be uh, really in hot flame, and to get that um, crispiness of the vegetables of the greens. And these are our noodles that we made it every day, and it needs to be like more quicker and faster. Basically, when you cook this type of noodles, it would take like about five to seven minutes and then the food will be ready. So it's very quick, very easy. We serve this as a main. You can have it either with tofu and vegetables. You can have it with the chicken or with the shrimp. Put some garnish in this after. some garnish. I'm gonna try that. Voila. So just simple, we have the spring onions and we made also our uh, fried chopped garlic. Dash it up with fresh lime, a fresh greens, a fresh herbs to give that a bit of a color and texture and make it more inviting and delicious. So this is our homemade vegetable egg noodles. Hey, listen up, it's me, Black Ellis, and I want to talk to you about coconut. Sweet coconut, good to make full brush and kaya, art and craft, great a kick and drops. And best of all, your wonderful coconut milk. Now it would be nicer if to get your milk never takes so much work and will. For the picking and the husking and the grating and the squeezing, cause it plenty time and skill. But I cracked that nut and solved that case. No longer do I have to go hunting coconut. I just leave it all to Grace. Grace Coconut Milk in powder and liquid. Now available in a one kilogram pack. Grace Coconut Milk. Good as homemade. Best for quality. It's the best thing since coconut milk. Bargain Center Hardware on Kentish Road has everything you need for building and DIY. Great savings all the time. What are you waiting for? Move that body! Just call me Angel of the Morning, baby. I 
lead a very busy life, but when it comes to my family, there are no cutting corners. I serve them the best, and that's gourmet basket. From my morning coffee at the deli, great fresh produce and butcher cuts, I guess you can say, I'm a gourmet basket shopper, baby. I'm a gourmet basket shopper, baby. I'm a gourmet basket shopper, baby. Guys, so here's my chef Roldan. He's yeah. uh, newly on board here at Tululu, and I'm happy to be to work uh, with him. Today he's creating an international salad. Uh, this is one of the dishes that we're going to serve during lunchtime. As you can see, our concept for lunch is international food. So he's demonstrating us his own way or his creations and how to make a, a delicious chicken salad, chef. Your okay. turn. So, morning, guys. So, as we see, I'm creating a chicken pistachio feta, sa uh, feta salad. Cut it by its size. One of everything. And the other ingredients are the cherry tomatoes, the pistachio nuts, the grilled chicken, and the feta cheese. So, okay. So, the cherry tomatoes should be cut into half just put it in then the grilled chicken which is seasoned with salt and pepper with a little olive oil you cut it into cubes then we put it on top of the salad. The pistachio nuts. Just do it like that. Crush it. And the lastly, the feta cheese. Excuse me. If you cut in the feta cheese, you don't need really the sizes or what, because eventually you'll just to crumble it, put it on top. And lastly, for the dressing, we've created a mango vinaigrette, which is a very simple vinaigrette. You don't need any any ingredients that is. It's only in the local supermarket. So we have here the mangoes, the puree mango, uh, olive oil, a little honey, salt and pepper. That's all. So you just uh, get a little vinaigrette, then you spread it out. Then that is the chicken, pistachio, and feta salad. All right, chef. So this is really delicious. Looks very good. And we get it. We need to try this so that we know that how 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 simple it is, but how delicious and how it's easy to to prepare. And well, we'll have a nice simple salad here at Tulu during lunchtime. Very nice. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Appreciate. Uh, we're going to cook a different dish again. Yes, for the main. For the mains, yeah? So we'll prepare that uh, main dish. And I'm still working with my chef here, Roldan, yeah. who's going to show us a little bit of his expertise in our uh, one, creating a main course. As you can see, in the nighttime, our concept is journey to Asia. So Chef Roldan is making us, Chef, a Japanese twist of yes. how to create a tuna and to create that dish into something else and delicious. So chef, please demonstrate to okay. us on what you're doing here and what type of menu is this? So, okay guys. Uh, this is a uh, Japanese style tuna. So, here are the ingredients to be needed. Uh, this is the teriyaki sauce, which is uh, already been mixed with a little honey. 
uh, the tuna, which is seasoned already with salt and pepper, uh, the salsa, tomato and mango, and the potato. This dish is called uh, teriyaki tuna with grilled potato and tomato mango salsa. So, so, so first, we season the tuna with salt and pepper before we grill it, and a little bit of oil. Just replace it with oil. A little bit. And also, the potato. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and oil. So, we grill it. Put an oil in the grill pan, and grill. Uh, We first put the potato because we need it a little bit longer to cook. It takes you around uh, maybe a minute to cook a potato. Because this has already been cooked half, half the way. As you can see, you can see the grill marks on the potatoes. That is what we're catching here, the grill marks. So. Tuna is a very, very good fish, and it's it needs only a little uh, cooking time. So this is seared. So we just put in maybe uh, 30 seconds in both sides. We sear in for 30 seconds. Blank plate. On the other side. And then we flip it again, the other side. The edges of the tuna. So it's done. It's here tuna. So we'll move in for the plating. For this dish. So we need a square plate. Okay. So it's a square plate for plating. Can here is the teriyaki sauce. So we just uh, scoop in a little for garnishing. We put it here. Let's wipe it directly. We put in the potatoes, the grilled potatoes. Next thing is for the tuna. So in order to have a little bit of the Japanese taste for the tuna, we do need it to dip in to the teriyaki sauce. And we put it on top. And then, we put in the tomato mango salsa on top of this one, top of the tuna. That's it. And we garnish it with cilantro on top. Here, guys, is my simple, delicious dish. Uh, it's a Japanese seared teriyaki tuna with grilled potato and mango tomato salsa.
lead a very busy life, but when it comes to my family, there are no cutting corners. I serve them the best, and that's gourmet basket. From my morning coffee at the deli, great fresh produce and butcher cuts, I guess you can say, I'm a gourmet basket shopper, baby. I'm a gourmet basket shopper, baby. I'm a gourmet basket shopper, baby. Come see what we're doing at Barden Centre at Perry Bay. We have the best prices and quality. We're working harder to serve you better. Come on down to Bargain Center. Move that body. Everybody shopping at the Bargain Center. Move your body now. Let's go shopping Chef's World is dedicated to all those who love to cook. We have kitchen gadgets, professional ranges, refrigerators, chef's uniform, glassware and plateware. Visit Chef's World. We're located at Gamble's Medical Center, Friars Hill Road. Now, I'm going to... I, I thought it was very interesting the way it was prepared, although I didn't get to see all of it. But what I, what I most observed about this was the length of time it took. It's a really quick meal. meal. Yes. Um, if you've got just 30 minutes, time of the show, Absolutely. you can put together a spread like this yeah. and uh, it looks marvelous. What great ideas. So I'm going to start with the tuna. Yes. Now, this was interesting because it, this is sand tuna. Right. And it was just 30 seconds around. To prepare, yeah, even yeah, less. Less than that. Yeah. It's pink inside, but... Oh, God. <laughs> now, what is the sauce that's over it? Yeah, so it's a Japanese style of cooking or preparing uh, tuna. So we glaze that with teriyaki. Mm. It's so, so moist. And it has, the teriyaki just gives it a little bit of a kick, but in no way disguises the flavor of right. the tuna. And for people who might feel a little nervous about raw fish, <laughs> it's perfectly safe to eat tuna. I love this tuna. What I love about it is there's so many flavors here. There's the coriander, which always goes well with tuna. And yes. you get the feeling that you're actually tasting a fish that's really been cooked. So, because I know we have a tendency on the island to overcook Over fish. And probably not all fish can be treated like this tuna. Correct. Um, can snapper? We can use mahi mahi. Of course, it's a different way of cooking. We have uh, we can use whatever is fresh uh, fish in the island can be a very good uh, uh, supplement to create this type of meal. And this was. And uh, what the chef did is to uh, just uh, cut uh, gratin potatoes and then um, quickly put it on the grill. It would take about probably seven to 10 minutes. So this is, needs a little bit right. of preparation. Yes. And just during the serving, you just need to reheat it, put it and back the, again in the grill, and then and put the, it all the, together. Um, the garnish on top, this is just tomato and... To complement the little bit twist of the teriyaki flavor is to have the mango cherry salsa. Because you know... It's a it's, real nice, fresh, zesty kick. Yes. It's absolutely delicious. Now I'm going to try. This was the fresh egg the fresh noodles. Fresh egg noodles. Yeah. Um, I'll use this. And it's fresh egg noodles with. This is just plain, different vegetables, uh, condiments on it. So for the vegetarian, it's a very good option.
can, you can taste that wok kind of flavor. Yes, so that's the secret. It's like smoked, almost. Correct. I don't think this would work as well if you just did it in a regular frying pan. Yeah, well, the tendency of the noodles when you do it in the regular pan, it would be maybe tend to be soggy or overcooked or probably not able to cook the noodles very well. But what we're trying to maintain here is the freshness of the noodles right. and also the freshness of the vegetables. I know. So when you're tasting that, you get the crispiness and the freshness of all the ingredients adding all together. Absolutely delicious. Now, what kind of vegetables are in this? Well, whatever is the fresh produce or locally produced in the island, that's what we, we try to use. There's no rules of specific vegetables. But the chef loves to use the, the, the bell peppers, right, the, the broccolis, I'm the spring to, onions, cabbages, over. and the snow peas. I think that's additional the type of vegetable that is very, very uh, specific where Asian also loves to use and we have that available in, in Antigua so it's we use amazing it. and this is the chicken salad that's the, the chicken pistachio chicken feta pistachio. cheese salad okay yeah. so let me try and sample the chicken I think to get the flavor of the Pistachio. I probably have to dig a little deeper. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And what's this? Is feta cheese? It's feta cheese. Yes. Mm. It's very interesting how he prepared this a while ago because it's, it's so simple. I couldn't imagine as well that um, how simple it is, but, but it creates full of a different. Flavor. Yes. And of course, a lot of the flavor is from the dressing. Right. And what, what is the dressing? He's very creative and I, I encourage him really to use what are the local produce. And in Antigua we have different tropical fruits. We have mango, we have passion. So I, 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 I told him make use of those flavors. Twist it with, make it as a vinaigrette. So he prepared as a mango vinaigrette to uh, complement that with the fresh greens. And everything and is nice and fresh. You can taste the freshness. Now look, chicken is very lightly seasoned. Yes. So, and again, it's nice and moist and soft. It's absolutely delicious, but the seared tuna, without doubt, is my favorite. <laughs> and I'm sure I'll be back for that. Thank you. This was, I think these are some wonderful ideas of what we can do at home to turn yes. a, a ho-hum meal into something quite special and extraordinary. Yeah. Well, if you don't feel like cooking this and want to come down and try it anyway, come to Tululu. You're open. Right. I'm open from Monday to Saturday. Uh, we serve late breakfast. We have a lot of options for our breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner. So and dinner, dinner is, of course, is the more um, journey to Asia. Journey to Asia. Which I can't wait to try. <laughs> I will definitely be back. Thank you, Joy. Well, it's a special day. Yes, so we're going to, I'm going to thank you very much for allowing Chefs of Antigua to be here and wish all of our viewers who've joined us all season for Chefs of Antigua, we wish you a very healthy, happy and a great 2016. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.